My name is Lily Schamlippe and I'm an oil painter. So this is my studio space. So this is my working work environment, my beautiful easel, my workstation, with paint and mediums. I come to the studio every day, spend sort of four or five hours a day painting, uh, sometimes just puffing, <laughs> uh, sometimes just drawing, um, sitting, pondering. I've got a very comfy armchair, my dog obviously. I paint in oils and uh, my paintings are generally quite lively. Um, there's lots of paint on them. I paint with lots of textures, dynamic surfaces. I apply them with a brush, with a um, palette knife, with rags. Um, I scratch into it. I brush them gently. I um, draw lines. I push and pull, I guess. From further away, the paintings often look quite resolved. Um, they look lively. You can vaguely see or imagine what it is I'm trying to depict. Um, you can probably think, oh, there's a bit of sky, there's a bit of blossoms, there's, um, there's some branches, it's a tree, I, I look up, or in my more floral works, oh, I can see a poppy or a tulip. So I tend to try to keep it um, vague, vague enough so you can imagine, you can see things in it. Um, now, if you do look closer, though, uh, you can see the, the, the works are actually quite rough <laughs> so because they are applied really loosely and i don't I, I plan to a certain extent but i react very much to what's happening on the day and what's happening with the with the paint what's happening with the with the canvas um what my body movement is like some days i'm really energetic and I'm rah, and other days i feel a bit calmer and that really um reflects in my paintings so the work uh, resolves uh, the, the further you step away from it and it becomes more abstract the uh, closer you get towards it, I guess. Um, and it's something I really enjoy. I enjoy, in a museum it's the same thing. You, you, you go somewhere and, and you look at a, a constable from further away and you think, oh yeah, I can see a horse and a cart and a tree and a bush. And you go closer up and you nose right into the canvas and you think, actually, it's just a couple of blocks of paint and dabbles of paint cleverly applied um, with a good technical understanding of what's going on um, and I love when, when, when you want to see how a painting is painted. I don't know if it's a thing that applies particularly to painters or artists but I like to really really nose close up and I hope my paintings do the same thing that you sort of look at them you you wonder oh, how it's done or you wonder has she drawn it? How long has it taken her? How has she drawn it finally out? Is every single leaf painted? And it's, it's not. It's not. So I very much invite you to come to my studio or to the gallery in Buckton and um, come in, pick a painting, look at it, and then go really close up and have a look what's actually happening. They are my favourite paintings when I, when I want to go really close up, like so. <laughs> my studio is a uh, part of a working farm. Uh, it's the old cow shed. Uh, it's lots of uh, old beams and uh, it's quite drafty and cold in winter, but a very creative environment because I've got a florist next door and a ceramicist who also runs the school. I love the process of painting, I think, the most. The squeezing out the tube in the morning, mixing the paint, applying the paint. And because oils stay open for quite a long time, depending what kind of medium you use, what kind of surface you're painting on, um, you can push it, you can pull it, you can drag it, you can um, scratch into it. Um, it's so versatile. And, uh, and really your daily form, uh, if you're joyful, if you're a little bit more subdued, if you're calmer, if you're very excited, uh, it really comes out in your painting and in your application of paint. And I love that. Uh, another very another very important part of my practice is music. I play music quite loudly. 
um, and it depends really on my mood what kind of music it is it ranges from German hip-hop to uh, classical music it can be some 80s to very recent music it can be just acoustic uh, but I find again so together with your daily form uh, it reflects in your painting the music you listen to in my case <laughs> I hope you can see behind me. It always feels like little windows out of my studio that I paint. Can you see that? I, I love when I come in in the morning and I have a look and I'm like, oh look, the sun is shining and it's hammering down with rain, but in my studio the sun is shining. Also for art weeks, what I've tried to do, very unsuccessful so far. I've tried to do my own little frames. <laughs> It's appalling, <laughs> but I'll get better. You'll see the result if you come and see me here in um, Canfield in my studio. Yeah, so um, I don't know if you can see this, but I work with lots of different um, oil sticks, brushes, some pens, pencils. I've got my little kitchenette here with a fridge full of Prosecco. Come and see me. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. That's me and Merlin. Yeah. <laughs> it would be great seeing you. Um, you can just come for a chat. Anytime, to be honest, just drop me an email. Go to the website. It's uh, studioschaumleffel.com. Um, and uh, yeah, drop me an email. Pop in. We can have a coffee, a tea, talk art. I love talking art. If you have any questions, technical questions, or just want to bounce some ideas, um any any art chat is a good chat in my book so come and see me don't be shy i don't bite and as i say i love painting i love art i love being creative um and i love to share what i know and maybe learn some new things too yeah. little chat that's merlin that's my studio assistant loyal he always agrees with me loves everything i do fantastic I hope you enjoyed my little tour and I hope to see you in May.